Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial where we're going to be doing some concept art. So, I'm going to teach you um, basically how to create something like this, which is pretty cool. So, uh, first of all, um, go back. What you want to do is you want to take a picture of yourself, obviously, doing a uh, Star Wars pose. So, I'm just going to go to my desktop. I'm just going to go to my memory card <coughs> so I shot this on my DSLR and I've done some um, a few edits of pictures if that makes sense so I'll pick this one uh, what's this let's re-add it again sorry about that guys alright sequence picked up uh, where are we uh, 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 this one the edit in a sequence right so I've got uh, this image here of me holding a lightsaber or a template of a lightsaber now you can use any uh, object to give you a rough um, guide um, to the straightness um, of the lightsaber in this case I used a knife sharpener <laughs> so uh, let's go so now the first important thing is we're gonna have to uh, mask ourselves out um, if you can shoot this on a green screen um, if you want um, just to save time I couldn't be asked to uh, get a green screen out so what I'll do is I'll just uh, cut myself out so let's just do this so what I'll do guys is I'm just going to fast forward this for you guys um, so you don't have to endure this painstaking masking Okay, so I'll be back as soon as this is finished. Okay, so we've masked ourselves out uh, very roughly. Um, you can sort of uh, fine tune um, all your masking bits after you've done, um, just to get rid of the, you know, the sort of jagged lines, the bits that sort of don't belong. Um, but for time's sake, we're just going to give you sort of show the technique um, around doing this effect or this look. Now you can apply this to um, moving footage as well, um, but this one. Will teach you how to get yourself a nice image, create a lightsaber at the same time, uh, so on and so on. Okay, so now I'm sort of cut out, um, as you can see, um, bit here that I want to get rid of there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color correct myself because I pop too much. So I want to go to color color correction curves. And then I'm just going to bring the darkness down uh, just ever so slightly. Now um, I'm going to attach a few files uh, for you uh, so you can use. Uh, firstly, and uh, foremost, is a lightsaber handle because obviously I don't own a lightsaber. <laughs> so I'm just going to import that in. Um, I've just added it to my desktop. It's a simple uh, PNG uh, picture. Now you can use any PNG picture you want. Um, it's entirely up to you, uh, but for this case, I am just going to use this one here. So I'm just going to get my rotation tool and just spin it around so it matches the sort of length of this uh, guide. And then I'm just going to play around with the overall look um, of the lightsaber. I would say that's about right for fitness, like so. And I'm just going to bring it here to about the, there so you can sort of see the lightsaber uh, uh, on the hand. And what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to open up the lightsaber and then I'm just going to bring the opacity down just so I can sort of see my hand as well, just here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my masking tool and I'm just going to cut round where I'm sort of holding lightsaber but remember to go around the lightsaber as well yeah don't shrimp from the lightsaber 
obviously the neater you do it the better it's going to look uh, let's just add a bit of feather to that F on your keyboard for feathering okay and then what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to uh, put this to 100% oh sorry didn't want to do that let's go to edit undo I'm going to uh, reopen my opacity, my opacity up. I'm okay, my mask at the moment. Okay, so let's select on it, go to uh, transform, and punch our opacity back up to 100 so we can actually see the lights in. So, okay. Now, to get the back handle, um, all we're going to do is we're going to add the same uh, picture uh, back on it. Uh, we're going to rotate it and we are going to repeat the process but what we're going to do is we're going to open our opacity on this light step as well uh, put it down to 50 so we've got a sort of like clear see-through image and then we're going to match up uh, this light saber with a one in the background okay so I'm just going to Punch size up. All right, so and then I'm going to bring this part of the lightsaber right, and I'm going to match the edges to this. So I'll match the size in general to the one that we're actually holding. If you need to bring the opacity back up just a little bit more you can just so you can match it up with the one in the background bring this up a bit this oh it's a bit of um what's the word i'm looking for um fiddling around uh, if that makes sense that's that one um, you can title these obviously, but for the sake of this tutorial and time, I'm not going to title all these. Right, so that looks okay. I come back a bit. Right, so, and then all I'm going to do is I am going to bring the opacity back down just so I can see the lightsaber in my hand as well. And I get my masking tool. And I'm just going to go around my hand like so and get the shape. We'll see the best you can of the lightsaber. Right, so, and then we'll put that opacity back up to 100, and boom. Right, so I'm going to feather that by about, I would say, four. Um, and there you go. Right. So we've practically got our lightsaber in our hand now. That looks too thin to me. So I'm just going to move it about and maybe press S on the keyboard and I'm just going to scale it just slightly. Right, so, okay, so that don't look too bad as it is. Okay, next we need to add our lightsaber. So this is the fun bit. So we're going to create a new solid. Uh, we're going to call this saber because we are going to be using saber for this. Go to effects, video copilot, and saber. Obviously, it's going to automatically give you a uh, lightsaber. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to set my lightsaber to screen and then I'm just going to put the first point here to start point even though we're not animating and I'm going to bring this all the way over about here and just basically get it straight the, the tool we used is some is like a reference okay to get your right saber straight and just bring it up slightly now obviously I want the um, 
proper Jedi look, so I'm going to change that to um, core. Like so, and that's going to give us that lovely um, looking uh, core thing. And then I'm going to play around with the intensity. And this is all based on taste, guys. Core spread, bring it up. This is all based on taste. Right, let's bring that down. Load, bring the intensity up. Yeah, let's bring the intensity even more. We're basically just getting the intensity big enough to match the size of the saber. Okay. Bring the glow intensity up. You, you can actually use this technique guys to um, do your animated lightsaber like this as well okay so we're just going to click on that now you can see there obviously it's going over so I'm just going to bring that below the lightsaber or the other one shall I say the bottom one and then it's gone behind so that's sort of giving us a nice effect and then basically what you're doing is you're just making this to your own taste basically so my image needs to be played around with so I'm just going to bring the darkness down a bit and that will give the reflectivity from the lightsaber to the face as well so this is all sort of based on taste right so now what I'm going to do I'm going to create a new solid I'm going to make this like a grey colour let's bring this up a bit Okay, make column size, click OK. I want to get my ellipse tool and say oh, I'm about here. And then I'm going to hit F on a keyboard for feather. And I'm really going to punch the hell out of that. Like so. I'm going to put this below my picture of me and then I'm just going to scale this up so we've got sort of like, like a really nice sort of vignette or vignettes in the background um, just to give it a bit of uh, style now there is another um, what do you call it you can use uh, particles particle effects um, which are available uh, so I'm going to create um, I've got a, sorry, a stock footage of some particles. Um, now, obviously, you know, it's entirely up to you sort of what stock particles you use. Uh, you can use anything you want. Um, I'm just using um, some stock particles I've got around here somewhere, stock particles, and I've got a red one here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to basically, because this is a video, um, I have to basically manip manipulate this uh, stock particle and sort of match the thing. So I'm just going to scale that right up and then I'm just going to bring this until I start seeing my particle show up. Until I see the particle show up in the actual video, if that makes sense. So this is quite um, intensive stuff, so it might take a bit of a uh, your GPU, a bit of a licking. Right, so that don't look too bad. I want some more on there, so like that. So I'm going to change that particle layer to a screen. So I've got that lovely um, Star Wars looking look. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this vignette layer. I'm going to go to effects and I'm going to go to colour correction and like I say guys this is all based on taste yeah this is all based on taste I'm just going to make it slightly darker just a bit darker because what that is doing now that vignette and that background is reacting to the light of the lightsaber which is making it look really really um, nice so that's not too bad not too bad and then we can sort of play around with our RGB so I'm going to go to the red and I'm just going to bring the red down just a 
maybe up ever so slightly. Now, I'm going to use optical flare for this, so I'm going to go to uh, use solid. I'm just going to call this one flare, so I know where I am. And then I'm going to go into effects, video copilot, optical flares. I'm basically going to look for an optical flare system or preset that looks really cool that matches our scene. So let's go back to presets here on a really nice um, sort of red. Now you can use any of these. This one's really, really nice, but I don't like the spikes on it. Uh, let's go to scale. I don't really like that one actually. I want it sort of, what you want to do, you want to have it really subtle, like one of these, and then you can change the colour to that, uh, punch that to a sort of really dark red, or blood red, and that looks too clever actually. So I click OK, click OK, and I change that to on transparent. And then I'm just gonna, I don't want my optical flare showing too much. I'll just basically want this off the screen to about there. And then I want to change the color here to a red, like so. And then I'm just gonna bring the brightness down to about just, just enough guys. So you can just basically see it. So let's go about, let's see 10, like so. And then basically the rest is up to you guys. Um, it's, it's quite a nice effect as you can see. Um, what you could do is you could get the picture of you and I'll go to effects and then I'm gonna go to uh, blur and sharpen, fast blur. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add, add a little bit of blur to myself. Let's just push this up just a bit more. Let's have a look at that. Just a bit of a blur. And what that does is just basically takes the, the stint out of your masking, if that makes sense, and blends you into the background here um, sort of really, really nicely. Um, you could um, mask sort of any part of the layer um, to give it a really sort of nice um, uh, sort of faded look, like you can see here, it's pretty, pretty nice. Um, and then you could sort of do your eyes, you know, add some sort of red eyes to yourself it's entirely up to you how you sort of play this effect so it's all the way it's basically based on taste if that makes sense so yeah um pretty sort of straightforward uh technique um like i say i can sort of mask this out um like duplicate allow mask this out or what you could do guys is um add a bit of a um fast blur so let's go to effects uh, fast blur and we're going to add a little bit of a fast blur to the lightsaber just just a little bit nothing drastic like that and then what you've done so let's go back to that see a fast blur is 127 on that one right let's go back to that and a fast blur uh, fast blur and what we're going to do is we're going to put this into 127 as well okay oh that's a bit too much let's bring that back maybe we was a bit um, dubious for that one. Uh, let's go 10. No, let's go uh, 4. See, that don't look too bad. And what that does is it sort of blends the actual, it blends the whole piece together, um, if that makes sense, um, to give you a really nice sort of good looking uh, image. And then after that, it's entirely up to you um, how you play it. You can sort of start playing around with your uh, lightsaber to make it thicker, make it thinner. Entirely up to you guys. It's entirely up to you how you play this effect. So I hope you found this uh, tutorial interesting. Uh, like rating would uh, be appreciated. Um, and I'll definitely, guys, catch you in the next video. May the force be with you. Bye. So, yeah. All looking fantastic, all looking great. I'm, I'm over the moon about my monetization. As you guys know, I was in a bit of a slump about it. I was very concerned about it. I was, you know, sort of on edge um, about it as well, uh, which wasn't great. And it did make me a little bit depressed because of all the content, of all the work um, I put into this channel. Uh, as
as you know, we're a growing community now, and I'm very proud of it. Uh, we've got a nice subscription, subscription base, and it's building up very, very quickly. And I'm very proud of it, and it's all because of you guys, basically, uh, being the awesome people you are. So yeah, stay tuned for some really, really, really exciting stuff coming to film it. Not only that, we've got some really, really cool VFX uh, tutorials coming to the channel as well which is going to be absolutely fantastic. We're going to be doing some visual effects using a drone as well. So we're going to be taking the drone out, uh, doing some uh, film work with that, um, and using the footage of that to create some really stunning, um, hopefully stunning visual effects uh, tutorials, uh, just basically with the film we produce from the drone, uh, which is great. At the moment, it's a bit temperamental because the weather in the UK has been absolutely horrendous, especially in London where I am. I'm practically near enough in the centre of, center of London. Um, and the weather's been absolutely horrendous. So it's been very, very difficult for me to uh, take the drone out to get some more footage. And I do know that there's a lot of you guys that like the drone footage and drone uh, footage, uh, film, films, shall I say, um, on this channel, which is great. Um, so yeah, um, stay tuned um, for some really, really exciting stuff um, coming to film it. I'm very excited. Hope you guys are really excited too. Um, if you're not subscribed guys yet, hit the subscription button. Like I say, some really cool stuff coming. Um, and a lightweight rating would really be appreciated um, as I feel really good about myself. I'm starting to feel really good about myself. I'm, I'm really